Hi everyone, I am Shukur Mishukur Das, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering of Volume Stock Technology. I would like to say a few words regarding enterprise engineering and importance of VLSI in modern electronics. Electronics engineers work together at the forefront of the practical technology, improving devices and systems we use every day. From solar cell to mobile phone, we innovate to meet society's communication and technology needs. In this electronics engineering course, students learn about basic electronics circuits and they also learn different electronics components and devices and how they are being manufactured. VLSI stands for Red Last Code Integration. It's all about integrated circuit or IC design. VLSI is the process of creating IC by joining thousands of transistors in a single silicon chip. So, we usually call it chip design. VLSI is very important in modern days because this technology is widely used in different electronic devices and processors. As the technology is getting advanced in day by day, the importance of VLSI is increasing. More and more features are added into small chips. The IC is used in several applications, for example, telecommunication, computing, video image processing, high performance and consumer electronics at a very fast pace. The era of VLSI opens up immense opportunities to fulfill the future demands of the electronics market. Now I would like to discuss an experiment of our VLSI design lab that is designed a CMOS inverter to often transient response using Tanner tool software. Now the question is, what is Tanner tool? Tanner Edit Tool is fully circuit design and analysis systems that include schematic editor, that's S edit. This schematic editor is most powerful design capture and analysis package that generate net list directly in usable dispatch simulation. Tanner Edit Tool also provides a complete line of software solution that drives innovation for the design, layout and verification of analog and mixed signal IC. This is sold by Mentor Graphics and it is very useful and user friendly to the Beginners. Now I will draw the circuit. Now this is the CMOS inverter. Here this is CMOS and MOS are connected together. MOS is connected to the BD and MOS is connected to the ground. The input mode and output mode. Here if we apply any input at the input mode we get the inverted output at the output node. So now let us see how this circuit will be implemented by Tanner tool. Now I will show schematic diagram of CMOS inverter circuit using S edit. This is the schematic diagram of CMOS inverter circuit using S edit. Where PMOS and NMOS are connected together. PMOS is connected to the BLED, NMOS is connected to the ground. The input node and output node, then we apply a transient path to obtain the transient response of the CMOS inverter circuit. Here, we see voltage source and pin voltages also be applied. Now, go to the output waveform. We run the circuit. The output is shown here. The output we have shown that if we apply high input, we get low output. If we apply low input, we get high output. So, CMOS inverter gives an inverted output. So, this is the result of our experiment. Thank you.